Hello everyone. Um, so I'm very tired. I'm probably not going to be recording very long, but we're about to enter a story area, so I wanted to record nonetheless. So let's go. Oh, dang it. They saw me. Going to take him down. Well, just kill them. We'll just kill them right Little slut. Alright. So we're following that one lady to that one place where they were like Senator's daughter. Blah blah blah. Stupid. Blah blah blah. Free the animal. Blah blah blah. My what the hell? Killing that. Cold. I do not like this thing. Oh, I'm like having to get right back to it. I'm sorry if I am mumbling. And if I am, then you probably to didn't death. hear what I just said. Okay, come here, Corso. We are healing. Oh, oh, oh way over there. Doggy better be in here. So help me. So help me if it's not. No. What did I use that? Just can't. Okay. That wasn't close enough. Good monster thingy things. So, if they believe in, like, freedom of creatures, then why are they, like, using these creatures to watch their thing? Their secret laboratory? Shark's evil. Oh, I think they're ugly. I've had enough! Oh, little spud. Alright. Oh, for goodness sake. I've had enough too, Corso. This is silly. Ooh. This guy has got music with him. Dying! Oh, what do you want me to do about it, Corso? Die. Oh my god. Whew. Jeez. That was close. Get up. Do I Still got some fight in me. Oh, you interrupted me. I was gonna make a smug comment about you dying and me not dying. But now that moment has passed, Corso. And now I can't have my smug moment. A little disappointed in that. But alas, the show must go on. Uh, is this the place? Hello? Uh, what the hell? Hi. What's going on in here? Why? My beautiful children. You killed them all. Why? You have something that belongs to Druga the Hut. Please, kill me. Okay. Captain, it's that girl from the Hollow. Momi Andrell. What did this sick filth heap do to her? Don't want to know. Lige used me for experiments. Did terrible things. I'm dying. You'll pay for what he's done to you. I don't care about revenge. I do. Oh. Don't let him keep that beautiful beast. He's sick. Ooh, you're Silence, a test subject. The Shanjaru is invaluable to my research. <gasps> hey. I need it. The species displays evidence of evolving sapiens. I must unlock its secrets to engineer my perfect life form. Slaves! He wants to make slaves! Smart beasts that comprehend complex commands and perform multi-stage tasks. 
What the buyers do with them is their business. Why did you experiment on this poor woman? I certainly wasn't about to use my children. Ugh. I have no desire for hostilities with Druga or his agents. I extracted genetic samples from the Shanjaru. They'll have to suffice. The Beast Cage is a programmable repulsor lift vehicle. I'll send it to Druga immediately. Oh, that's convenient. Can't exactly fit him in my pocket, I suppose. Druga only wants the Shanjaru so he can eat the last of a species! And the hut will have his meal shortly. There is no reason for more violence. What you did to Momi is reason enough, you filth. How can you take her side? Her kind would leave us rotting in ignorance. The Shinjaro's genetic samples are the only way to save the species. Get them from Leger. Wait. I'll pay whatever it takes to keep these samples. Leave me in peace so I can finish my research. You're extinct, you lunatic. Oh, stop! My mind is worth too much! Renegade for life. Thank you, bitch. Take the genetic samples to the Senate Tower on Coruscant. A researcher named Deruda can clone the Shanjuro, repopulate the species. It will be sure. my dying legacy. Leger injected me with awful diseases, incurable ones. Ooh. The pain is horrible. I don't want to live like this. Please, kill me. As long as I get the hall jets out of here, fine. It's a little cold. I didn't mean it like that. I was just trying to be merciful. Thank you. All right. Dark side points. I am doing a lot more renegade options uh, as of recent. Let's see. What am I looking at? Still mostly light, though. I should really go one way or the other so I can get perks, but I feel that kind of takes uh, takes out of the you know immersion. Speak to Graham. Where is he now? Isn't currently docked in Shadowtown. Oh, well that's where we are, sort of. We're in a laboratory, but beyond the laboratory, we're not in Shadowtown. Well, that explains why they're using those animals thing, monster creature things as guards. It wasn't her, it was the crazy scientist. Who would have thought that one would be coming? Ooh. Music speaking. It's just going down. Just going down a slope. No big deal. Oh, is it all the way? It's just right there. It's just right there. It's so close. Uh, damn you, hindsight. Okay. All right. Here we are. Going to meet with. Druga the Hut finally finished this silly exchange up. Why would you want to come to a bum hole like this? This place, you know? It's pretty. I thought huts had standards, you know, but I guess I was wrong. I guess I'll just go to any place. Disappointed. I wonder if Dave's around. I do love Dave. What a guy. Is he in there? Oops, that's not Dave. Well, okay. Hi, Graham. Gra Graham. Graham. Shush. We are so very impressed you survived, Shadow Town. Congratulations. Thank you. Did that female Sean Jaru fly here? The repulsor lift cage made a dramatic entrance during the 27th course. The Great Feast Master was excessively delighted by his female specimen's return. As we assured you, his interest in your Shanjaro was renewed. Druga has already contacted your associate to arrange the details. 
Our Shanjaru will be there shortly, Drigadier. At last, I have a matching set of Sanjuro. The only surviving male and female in the entire species are all mine. You could repopulate the galaxy. Give the beasts a second chance. Why would I do that? They're failed species. They deserve to become extinct. I sent your starship engine to the spaceport, beautiful Risha. Come to celebrate with us. But I need to install that prototype engine. Oh, she didn't say maybe next time. I guess she had second thoughts about that one. You know how to install a freighter engine? Did I not mention I'm a starship mechanic? Pretty good one, too. Next time you come to Narshida, beautiful Risha, I'll expect you to dance with me. It's a date, Druga. Come see me when you're ready to lift off, Captain. Gross. Ah, the once mighty Bodo returns. Good, I was almost getting bored. You poisoned me, Hutt. The Wookiee's final performance begins. <gasps> what? And then the Wookiee goes free? If by free you mean dead, then yes. Dave! The gambler refuses to repay his debt to Druga, so the Wookiee is now property of the Great Feast Master. Gentle beans, watch as Wookiee becomes a meal for my pet Gundark. I've been starving for it. Or I've been starving it. Just for. Oh no, Dave! Will the Gondrak swallow the Wookiee whole or chew? If you choose, how many bites will it take? Such drama. Hang on, Bodar. I'll save you. Release Gundark. Oh, great. How hard could it? Oh, God. About our fights to the death. Got a fight on our hands. There's more where this came from. I mean, hot. Guess who won? My gun dark. What have you done, stupid spacer? Bodar is under my protection. You and this Wookiee are boring and expensive to maintain. Get out of my sight, both of you. Bodar is free of the hut. You earn Bodar's friendship and service. My life is full of trouble, Bodar. If you want to tag along, that's your choice. There's no choice. You set Bodar free. Yeah. Free to make my life miserable. He smells like a wet bantha. Of course so. Shush. Bodar defends and honors you, friend. Always. We do not understand the value you place on this beast, but we will see to it he reaches your starship safely. We bid you farewell. It has been... stimulating. <gasps> he got a new friend. His name's Bodar. Let's just go back to our spaceship and check things out. So now we can quick travel to spaceport. Yes. Oh, and get off this terrible, terrible planet. I'm noticing a trend. It's like I'm always so glad to get off a planet. All right. I don't know why you're looking at me. You're in charge. I didn't, I didn't even... I wasn't even... Okay. Course has been hitting the happy juice. By happy juice, I mean Pepto-Bismol. He's got some weird fetishes. And yes, I use the word fetishes. Even though that's not the right word I'm thinking of. I'm so tired, I don't care. Alright. Oop. Oop. This way. Someone's taking a nap. Okay. Up here to spaceport hangar. Hangar. Hunger. Ah, wonderful. 
nothing could possibly go wrong. Oh, well, that could go wrong. Why do I always go up there? I always see that and I'm just like, nope, that's where I'm supposed to go. Nothing could possibly go wrong now. Right now. Right now? Really? No one's trying to kill me? Huh. Alright. I will take what I can get. I will not complain. It's always good not to be killed. Not to be dead. Not to be made dead. Quite fond of living. Despite popular belief. Alright. Master, I have yeah. reprogrammed your vessel's food processor Sweet. to reduce the crew's caloric intake. Some of them were growing a bit thick. Yeah, Risha's pretty big, isn't she? Where is... Where's Bodar? Is he on our ship? Or did he lie to me? Bodar! But... Oh! Hey! Hi! Hi! <laughs> They belong to us. It sure does, Bodar. Let's have a let's have a little chat. Come sit next to me. Well, that was awkward. All right. Ah. Hi, Risha. Just in time. I installed that new engine for you. Want to take it for a spin? Where did you learn to be a starship mechanic? At my father's knee. He was the best. His knee? This prototype is really something. You'll find your ship is a lot more maneuverable. I notice we have a new addition to the crew. Wookiees are always good for extra muscle. Is this one friendly? His name's Bodar, and he's as sweet as they come. Really? Because an angry Wookiee can come in handy. It's funny that a hut is helping us find Nocturne's treasures. Nock used to terrify the cartel. You know a lot about this obscure gangster. Obscure gangster? People have written massive hollow chronicles about him. Not my fault you've been living under a rock. Oh. Twenty years ago, Nox single-handedly killed half the cartel members in a single night. No one ever figured out how he did it. The surviving cartel members gave Nox control over an entire galactic quadrant as a gesture of respect. The Huts never took it back. Who runs the territory now that Nox is dead? The crime bosses who tried to take over all died under mysterious circumstances. We're closer than ever to finding Noctrayan's lost wealth, Captain. Let's keep up the chase, shall we? Hmm. Someone's calling on the ship's hollow. Probably a fan. Be a darling and tell them I'm out. <gasps> I wonder who could be calling. <gasps> we get a new hat. It looks really stupid. Let's let's try it on. Oh my god. Well, I'm officially a Melvin. That's right. A Melvin. Damn. Ah. Uh, hello? Hello? <sighs> this is Captain Felara Raid of Free Trader Celestial Crow. If anyone's out there, I need help. What are you? I read you, Captain. What's the situation? Ship's engines burned out. Power cells fading. Losing life support. Can't hold out much longer. I am drifting into a sun. I need help getting my engines going. I'll pay if you help with repairs. We girls need to stick together. I'm on my way. Free of charge. You're a lifesaver. Transmitting my coordinates now. Please hurry. I'm a hero. Ah, there we go. Alright. What do we got here? Bodar and Corso. Oh, they both have stuff they want to talk about. Let's go talk with them. Bodar, hello. What you doing up? Are you, are you lost, little buddy? Are you lost? Are you lost? What are you looking at? What are you, what are you looking at? Are you looking at Risha? You looking at Risha? You wanna go say hi? You wanna go say hi? Okay, I'm done. <coughs> Thank you. Much longer and I would have ripped the arms off that hut. No one's gonna force you to risk your life in the ring again. <coughs> Bodar likes you, little girl. I will fight fiercely for you. But for honor, not to entertain a hut. You're adorable! Well, enjoy your freedom. I saved you the big bunk. Last ship, I was in slaves' quarters. 
Thank you, Captain. I feel a hug coming on. Is he still out in the hallway? He's, yeah, he's just okay. He's just gonna chill out over there. That's fine. It's harmless. Uh, Corso. Hey, Corso. What's going on, big guy? What's, what's going on? We, you're looking out? You're looking out in our stuff? You're looking, okay. Work, work, work. There's better ways for a beautiful woman to spend her time. Oh. Why don't you let me take you off this ship and show you some fun? Got something in mind? I figure you, me, a bottle of Corellian Red. I'm sure we can find a cantina with a back room and... Uh, I, I can't do this. Uh. Thought I'd try to be suave, like those guys who hit you up everywhere we land. Oh. <laughs> but you get that every day. You deserve better. Someone who'll treat you like a lady. Are you volunteering? Captain, I'm yours if you'll have me. I don't know how to play those games and give those gifts and make you laugh like some guys. But I'll be here when all of them are gone. I'm your man, Captain. Any way you want me. Ow, ow. How do you feel about Zero G? I thought I wanted to be that guy, that fun fling, but I think we've got a chance to be more. I've got something to show you, but you have to close your eyes. Uh, okay. I'm not closing my eyes. Can I open them yet? Oh. Now. Ah. This here's a Westar 18 bolt pistol. Antique. Ah. Custom-made DeLorean alloy exterior. Can I see I've it? I've been fixing her up for years. Can I see it? She's polished till she shines on the outside and has the firepower Can to I knock see it? you flat. I call her Sparkles. Ah, sparkles. I think you'd make a good pair. <laughs> sparkles. Ooh. I can add shit to it. What's that called? Modification. I can add mods to it. Ah, good old Corso. Okay, well, you know what? I'm beginning to really like my crew. I have my manho, I got my big buddy, and then I got kind of this weird, angry woman. <laughs> oh, Bodar. I like you. Let's chat. 